So today I'm going to show you how to run Google Ads on CPA offers. So this will be a continuation on our previous video. Okay, if you remember we went to find offers from CPA Grip and these were offers on the offer tools. Okay, we collected some offers over here and we piled them on Linktree. Okay, remember we piled a couple of offers here. We piled the, the get an Apple Watch, get a brand new PS5 and get a new GoPro 8. Okay. So what we're going to do today is to run an ad for this offer okay using google ads but what we're going to do first is to create a landing page okay because what google doesn't allow is ads from cpa offers okay they really don't like so if you run a naked ad they're just going to disapprove your ad or they're just going to ban you so what we want to do is to hide this offer on landing page or a bridge page or a squeeze page whatever you want to call it okay and that will even allow us to collect emails and be able to target them different offers at a later date okay now for this tutorial i'm going to use get response to build a landing page now get response is a diverse landing page builder you can you know build autoresponders you can collect email addresses okay you have a you know you can create a funnel a lead magnet funnel you can create sign up forms you can do so so much with get response okay and they are very very affordable as you can see for a free account you can get up to 500 contacts okay you can also create one landing page you can also create a website you can connect your domain so if you already have a website which usually comes with the domain you can create uh, you can connect with that you can create sign up forms and pop-ups all right and when you go to the pay plan is just fifteen dollars a month as you can see you also have autoresponders unlimited landing pages unlimited website builders now i have a link in the description which will directly take you to this page so what i'm going to do i'm just going to sign up to my account okay and then i'm going to click on create a landing page now from here you have different options you can create one from scratch okay just click on this uh, show templates or you have different templates that you can choose from now the, the benefit of this is that these are templates that have already been designed so all you just need to do is to replace the links with your you know affiliate links tracking links okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to use one of these two i'm going to select the lead generation or click on select template okay and then from here i'm just going to quickly name it so now from here we can now start editing our landing page okay so first thing let's get rid of this logo okay now we have our headline over here i'm going to have this on the right i'm going to have this picture over here at the top left okay i can have this over here all right um let me bring this up over here okay so now an image uh we can get an image relating to what we are promoting now what we are promoting was you know giveaways like things like uh, apple watch brand new ps5 okay gopro 8 so what we can do we can just go over here to google all right so i just want to collect an image over here um something like this so i'm just going to copy this or rather download it i'm going to save image all right so now i'll come back over here to get response so i'm going to click on this image click on replace select the image click on use all right so then we have our image over there now as you can see it's not really clear so what you want to do is to look for a high quality image okay now we want to keep this as simple as possible so what we can do we can get rid of this just remove this okay we're also going to remove this okay we can even push this up here okay like this so it's going to be a very very simple one you can even expand this if you want so what we can say over here is something like you know sign up to sign up to win daily prizes okay something like that so that when they land on this page they're going to see they're going to read this and a chance to win daily prizes okay so they're going to enter the name their email now what we would have done what we should actually do is to replace this image with the prizes that they are likely to win the prizes that are featuring on linktree over here okay so what I suggest you do, you get an image of an Apple Watch, uh, Apple Watch 6, an image of a PS5, and an image of a GoPro, uh, a GoPro 8. Okay, now you can get those images from Google, and then what you want to do with those images is to combine them. Okay? Put them in one place, combine them in one picture, and put them on Get Response. So let me show you how you can quickly do that. Um, okay, so the first one was uh, uh, GoPro or oh, Apple Watch 6. Okay, and this one over here. And what you want to do is to just save it. So the next image was a PS5. 
okay save that and then lastly is a gopro gopro 8 Let's save that okay so now that we have our three images downloaded we want to combine them and the way we can do that is from canva so we're going to head over to canva so what we'll do over here we'll look for the presentation 1920 by 1080 and then we're going to drag each of these images okay so what we want to do now is to just separate each of these images okay some of them appear to be larger some of them smaller um okay so just something like this okay you don't have to really think too hard about this let me bring this closer like this okay this has a little bit of a darker background but that should be okay all right so now what you want to do is to save we're just going to click on share and then just download this image all right so now you can come back over here to get response we're going to uh, replace this image okay we're going to click on add files we're going to drag this image over here we're going to click on add and then we're going to click on use all right so now at least it now makes more sense because these are the items that they're likely to win from our cpa offers okay now from here you have a, you actually have two options what you can do you can leave this you can let them enter their name and email address or you just get rid of it altogether and just let them sign up because the reason why you want to get rid of this is because they're also going to enter their name and email address on the cpa offer okay so they're going to be wondering why they have to enter their name and email address twice so personally i would remove you know the name okay maybe not the email but the name so i'm going to delete this name okay so they're just going to enter the email over here all right now from here we have this button this button doesn't really have a call to action okay we can't really enter a url because if you double click on this you can see there's no place to enter a url so what we're going to do we're going to grab this button from our toolbox we're going to completely seal the default button all right but what we want to do first we want to remove this text because it's kind of like showing the background so what we can do is to just delete backspace like that okay and then now we can bring this over here okay make it smaller just right about the same size as the uh, default button okay and then here we can say sign up just the same thing that it was saying before right now as you can see it has this add url this chain over here okay so what we're going to do we're going to click on this and what we're going to place here is our link tree okay remember this link tree that we created in a previous video so i'm going to collect i'm just going to copy this i'm going to come back over here and i'm going to enter link url okay like that click on okay all right so now we're completely done uh, not really completely done let me see there's something that we need to get rid of here okay we have to get rid of this uh bottom section okay the about three three to four so say yes about three of them so we're completely done with the desktop version so what we want to do now is to look at the mobile version okay let's click on this click on okay let's go mobile all right so we just need to correct this there's usually not much to do on the mobile so let's just seal the default button over there okay maybe pull this up a little bit like this all right let's go back to the desktop all right perfect so now we're going to save this we're going to hover and click on save and exit okay uh, this is for the thank you page okay if you want to edit the thank you page you can go ahead and do that but for this tutorial i'm going to skip it we don't really need a thank you page which will then take you to this page okay so this is where you'll have everything you need to know about your uh, your landing page your stats over here okay so what you're going to do first is to publish it okay make sure you get this notification so what we're going to do now this is what we're going to promote we're going to promote our link to our landing page which is this one over here okay so now what we're going to do we're going to head over to ads.google.com okay so once you're here it's going to take you to a page like this and then you're going to now click on new campaign so we're going to choose our objective from here you can choose either sales leads or website traffic now since we want to direct people to our landing page which is like our website we're going to click on this all right click on continue here we're now going to select our campaign type we have search which will reach customers interested in our product so we'll let's select this one over here so now let's enter our campaign name uh, we're just going to call this giveaways i'm not really sure if i've spelled this correctly but it's okay let's click on continue so now we're going to be taken to bidding so 
Uh, what do you want to focus on? You want to focus on conversions. You have different options. Okay, you have conversion value, conver uh, you have clicks, you have other optimization. So we're just going to leave it at conversions. Okay, that is the default selected for me. And then we're going to scroll down over here. We have networks. Now, typically, I, I like selecting just this one here. Uh, by default, Google will recommend you, you know, use both of them. Uh, but you don't really want that. What I would uh, advise you to do is just to select this one here because this is just going to make you spend more uh, on your ad clicks. It's going to increase your CPC. So this is the one that you want to select. It's the normal Google ad format. Okay. So let's scroll down here. We have locations. Now remember our ad was uh, targeting United States audience. Okay. When we were at CPA grip, we were selecting uh, the US uh, offers. Okay. So it's the same thing over here. We're going to select US offers. We're going to click on enter another location. Okay. And then here we'll just type United States. Okay. Click on target. All right. Now we're going to scroll down here. We have languages. Just leave it by default English here at audience segments. Okay. Let me click on this drop down. I'll show you what this is all about. Now audience is for the type of people who are likely to or who are interested in the kinds of offers that you are that you are promoting okay now since our offers are broad it doesn't really cater to a specific audience so we won't really need an audience segment over here all right so i'm just going to skip this okay i'm just going to close this and then we're going to continue with next okay so here we have our keywords get keywords and suggestions so here we're going to enter uh, not enter the url sorry we are going to skip this uh, we're going to scroll down over here so if you've seen my previous videos on uh, on google ads we're just going to pretty much do the same thing we're going to look for keywords that are related to what we are you know what we are promoting okay so this shouldn't be really too hard because what we are promoting here are things like you know not really promoting but uh, our offers are based on things like video games cameras like the gopro 8 uh, apple watch okay so i can type here video games video games uh, ps5 and then you have outdoor camera outdoor camera or sport camera because that is what the gopro does um, next we have apple watch now to get more keywords of this you can just go over to google you know you'll find keywords over there so the way you're going to do this is just to come over here to google you can type over here apple watch so let's see now, whenever you type over here, as you can see, this is the type of search terms that are being used currently. Okay, so this is what you want to use as your keyword. So what we can uh, what we can do is to copy Apple Watch series, Apple Watch series seven. Okay, same thing with PS5 or GoPro. Okay, let's go. Go. Okay, GoPro Hero eight. Right. So we're going to include GoPro Hero eight battery, GoPro Hero eight verse 9 gopro hero 8 case okay all these are keywords all right so that is what you want to fill over here okay so we can continue um we now have the final url so here is where we are now going to enter the link to our landing page okay the one that we've just created this one over here so we're going to copy this okay copy link address come back over here and then just paste it over there okay now as you can see on your preview over here this is it's going to show right so whatever it is that we're going to make whatever uh, adjustments we're going to make it's going to reflect over here so let's continue we have our headlines um and what google does google suggests our headlines based on what we entered in our keywords okay so new headline so here we can say okay so uh, with the headlines you want to keep it really short as you can see you're given only 30 characters okay so let's enter our second headline you actually require to enter about three so i'm going to enter another one so here you can see okay so win daily mega prizes then you can go ahead and add another uh, add another third headline because they usually require about three okay and as you can see it adjusts over here so what we would have done um, we have to give this capital letters okay so that it looks professional okay so let's see again all right so it looks much better now now let's scroll down we're going to now enter our description so again here we need about two or three descriptions here we have longer characters so we can make it as long as we want so let's let me show you what you can write over here okay so 
uh, okay i've not really put so much thought into this but you have to say something similar right and then now you want to add a second description uh, i'm just going to skip that for now so let's continue going to click on next so next we have our budget this is our average daily budget okay now google recommends us to start with 21 dollars okay now you can go much lower than this you don't have to start with 21 dollars a day because i know for many of us this is too much so what you can do you can set a custom budget okay so we can just keep this shorter we can keep this uh, not shorter but lower so maybe um, 11 dollars but as you can see over here uh, you've been told selecting a budget that's less than 21 dollars may prevent your ads from showing as often as they could okay so every time you're reducing just make sure you keep this in mind all right personally i wouldn't do this okay i'm just showing you that this is possible but also keep in mind that is going to affect your ad so anyway once that is done you're going to click on next okay so we're pretty much done with this okay now it's telling me to fix this because what we haven't done is keywords i didn't i didn't fill the keywords okay we just entered about six keywords and then once you're done with that you're going to click on fix it and from there you're going to uh, it's good they're going to review your ad once they review your ad it's going to start running okay so that's it for this video this is how you would run ads google ads for cpa offers particularly for those type of offers that we did using landing pages okay that is the most important thing you have to use a landing page to hide your cpa offers okay because google doesn't like cpa offers all right so that's it for this video i hope this was helpful uh, my voice wasn't really coming out clear today because i have a little bit of a cold but anyway thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one